crafters and stampers, welcome to Coffee and a Card, my free class. I'm Vicki Sewell, an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'd love it if you'd like and follow my business page on Facebook at Stampin' Chat 30 or email me at stampinchat30 at gmail.com. My May host code is WJBYGKFE. You can use my Handy Shop Now button at the top of this page, and for every $50 of Stampin' Up! products before tax and shipping that you order from me, entering this host code as you check out, you'll get a masculine, masculine card kit from me with all the pre-cut pieces to create six masculine cards, two each of three different designs, just in time for Father's Day. But I won't do any stamping on them, so you can also use them for get well, congratulations, or birthdays. You must enter this code as you're checking out, though, to be eligible. And if you'd like the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog, please email me at stampinchat30 at gmail.com. Today, I'm using the Kangaroo & Company bundle and Stampin' Up!'s decorative masks to show you an easy way to create your own background designs for your cards. I want to show you these uh, masks. There's four masks in the basic set. This one is kind of a leaf design. And I played with it a little bit. I used um, soft succulent on soft succulent paper and came up with this design. Here's a more ornate design. I played with it using the Fresh Freesia ink on Fresh Freesia paper. Here's a birch tree design. Most of these designs are super easy to use. The birch tree was just a little bit harder because there's so many loose pieces, you have to make sure you tie it down. But I ended up with, um, if you use the top of the, this is a large mask, if you use the, the top of the mask, you get one design. I used the bottom of the mask to get this design. And if I use the top of the mask, I got the design with more tree branches. When you order the mask kit, it tells you all the ways that you can use it uh, on the, right there on the package. This is the basic pattern decorative mask. You can spritz it using ink, chalk, or glimmer sprays. You can sponge using ink or uh, paint. You can trace using markers. You can emboss using Versamark ink and then heat embossing powder and you can add texture using embossing paste. But today I'm gonna, not exactly sponge, I'm gonna use Stampin' Up's new blending brushes. They are so easy to use and just a lot of fun. So also in this set is a polka dot. And I've just got a piece of cardboard here uh, just kind of as the background piece and um, I'm going to sponge using that. Now I've cut a piece of basic white that's four and a half by three and one fourth inches and I'm going to put that underneath the mask and I'll line the mask up. I'm just lining up in the four corners right here. I'm just kind of using that as a guideline to get the paper and the designs kind of centered. Then if you're on the lookout at craft stores, you can just find, I find washi tape sometimes for 25 cents on clearance. Or you could use painter's tape and you want to um, lay these pieces of washi tape down on the edge of the mask to make sure that the mask doesn't slip around while you're working. We'll just do all the sides really quickly there. That's longer. And just attach those really quickly. I'm 
like so. Now, the blending brushes come in packs of three. I have six blending brushes. You don't have to have a blending brush for each and every color. Um, I just have one for, like I have a blending brush for all the reds, and I have a blending brush for the purples, and then I have another blending brush that I use anytime I'm using uh, blues. So, and they, they're easy to clean. Um, I'm just gonna rub it on the ink pad, and this is gonna be a baby card for a little girl. So I'm going to use the new in color polished pink. Anytime you're using the blending brushes, you want to kind of start off the paper, just get a little of the color off. And then I'm just going to come along here and just put that color on. Then I'll go get a little more ink. This is so quick and easy and just really gives a really satisfying experience because it's, you can be so successful with it. I like the way that you'll notice it's a little darker here and a little lighter there. I like the shading that you get from this. Adds a lot of interest. This is just a quick way to make your own, almost your own designer series paper. And you can color coordinate it. That's the fun part. You can color coordinate it to whatever card that you want to make. There we go. All right, I'm gonna, just gonna go around the edges. I wanna make sure that I have plenty of color around the edges. And there you go, beautiful. Next, we're gonna lift off the mask. Take the tape off. Just peel that right off. And there's your beautiful, fun paper. So we'll move all these off to the side and I'll bring in the rest of the supplies. I'm using uh, a piece of cardstock that's eight and a half by five and a half inches scored at four and a fourth, the basic cardstock size. I have a piece of designer series paper that's two by five and one fourth. And I have another coordinating piece of designer series paper that's two by four and one fourth. Now these designer series papers uh, come in a package, and um, this package is the 2021 to 23 in color 6x6 designer series papers. And they match all those new in colors that I've been talking about in my videos. There's uh, uh, ev uh, Evening Evergreen, Pale Papaya in different designs. Here's the Fresh Freesia soft succulent and uh, of course the polished pink and this is their stampin up papers come with designs on both sides so you get lots of options when you order a package of their paper here's the other design and then kind of a checked design so uh, that's a great set to buy to go with your in color papers I also have a, I'm using a piece of a two inch by four and a fourth inch designer series paper because I wanna create a gift card holder out of this, an easy gift card holder. So now I have this and I'm gonna use the two by five and one fourth piece of paper. And we're just gonna kinda of line that up like that. And then this piece is gonna go right here and you can see that you just have a fun card going on already. So let me attach those, get those down with some adhesive. Always wanna make sure that you've got the back side of the pattern you wanna use. And 
and then I'm just going to place this kind of evenly. I'm lining it up evenly, top to bottom, as even as I can get it. About the same amount of distance on each side, like that. And then when I line this up, I think I want the darker down in the corner. This side's just a little darker, so I want to put that down in this bottom corner. And uh, I'm going to kind of put that evenly top to bottom. Like that. Already looking bright and cute. All right. Now, I mentioned the kangaroo set. It has the cutest, cutest designs on it. Um, just hopping by to say thanks a bunch. Hello, just a note, hello baby. Happy for you, it's your day, love you much, just for you. And then it's just a versatile set. Um, it was very popular at Valentine's Day because of all the hearts and the mail, but it's great. You can see the little birthday hat. I'm using it for a baby card. Um, you can just adapt it for so many things. And it comes with a die set, so you can cut out those cute little animals. And the interesting thing about this die right here, you can see this line, it cuts a hole for you for the kangaroo pocket. And that way you can put some of these fun things in the kangaroo's pocket. So for instance, I've already, um, Cut, just to save time, I've already uh, cut and colored the little kangaroo, and I wanted to show you how you can use the little kangaroo. If you're going to a birthday, it has a set of birthday gifts, and you can just tuck those in the little pocket, like that. Maybe even turn it this way. There we go. I think that's probably the best way. You can put the little birthday presents in, put a little birthday hat that's in that stamp set on the kangaroo. Kind of like paper dolls. If you ever played with paper dolls when you were little, it's kind of like that. There's a little Joey that you can tuck in the pocket if you'd like to do that. There's a set of hearts that you can color and tuck in the pocket. Kind of like that. So there's just lots of fun ways you can use this kangaroo. I'm actually going to use the hearts in the pocket, so I'm just going to leave those in there. And I'll set the little joeys and the gifts off to the side. So I'm going to uh, kind of play with this and get the uh, arrangement right. I like the little tail sticking off there. I'm going to have a little joey right here, kind of like that. And then one of the celebration items, Stampin' Up! has celebration twice a year. Um, they had one in January and February, and one of the hostess sets you could get was the punch party. When they have celebration and they have special sets, you don't wanna miss these because there's just lots of exciting things here. This one has, oh baby, you're already loved more than you know and the heart, and it coordinated with the um, heart punch pack. So there's the heart punch that I used. So the Stampin' Up! will be having another celebration coming up in uh, July or August, and you'll keep want to keep an eye out for that because um, they'll have some exciting offers for you there. All right, so... Uh, I have the cinnamon stamped and punched out. Uh, oh baby, you are loved more than you know. And I'm just going to attach those with some dimensionals to give it a little pop. I'm not even going to um, glue those hearts down. I'm gonna put a dimensional right over, kind of halfway over the heart and halfway over the kangaroo.
like so. And they also have mini dimensionals, so I don't have to cut the big dimensionals in half. I can just grab some of these little mini dimensionals like that. Peel the paper off. And we're ready to set this little guy on the card. Move it over a little bit, like so. There we go, there's Mama. And I'm gonna use the little mini dimensionals for the little Joey. I don't know about you, but if we find these little paper, little dimensional papers all over the house. Okay. And we're gonna put the little Joey next to Mama, looking up at Mama. And of course, if, if you know that um, this baby's gonna be a boy, you could always do this, and balmy blue would be a great color for a boy. There we go. this up here. There we go, just like that. We have a cute little card for a baby shower. Now this is the two by four and a fourth inch piece. The important thing to remember is to only, we're gonna set it right here, and we're only going to put adhesive around the outside so that we can tuck the gift card down inside just like that. Um, I did, it is uh, four and a fourth except that I went back and trimmed just about a sixteenth of an inch, just a little bit off one side to accommodate for the fold here. It just makes it fold a little easier and then I do line it up right here at the edge. So we'll carefully remember to just put adhesive on three sides of this. And I'm gonna put the adhesive as close to the outer edge as I can get it without going over. Just like that. And then I'm gonna Carefully line it up. Like that. And there you have your little pocket. Let me put that down a little tighter, make sure it gets down well. And then you have a little pocket that you can slip a gift card in and send that gift card. Um, these little presents, you can use them to decorate the inside. You might add a piece of white cardstock here and then put these little presents on the inside or you can put these little presents on the envelope to decorate the envelope. So there you have it, just as quick and easy as can be, a fun gift card holder for a baby shower or a baby gift. Now I played around, I wanted to show you how I played around a little bit with um, this design. Uh, I use this mask, same technique exactly with the um, blending brush. Uh, this is tone on tone. I use the soft succulent on the soft succulent paper. Um, if you've ever wondered what to do next when you have something like this, I just kind of look at it and play with it. Um, I found this, uh, this is the new designer series paper, hand pinned, and I thought, oh, that would just be gorgeous. So you, you might, after you do this background, you might look and see, are there some designer papers that might look good with it? And I kind of liked the hand pinned designer paper, which is in the annual catalog, the new annual catalog. 
And if I was gonna make a summer card, I would kind of back it. The other color in this designer series paper is Pool Party. Here's the soft succulent and there's the Pool Party. And so I thought, well, I'll try it with some Pool Party. That's the nice thing about Stampin' Up's papers. They coordinate, they color coordinate. So if I were going to do a spring card, I would probably use the um, Pool Party. But look what happens. Here's the other color that's in that designer series paper, and that is the cinnamon cider. So if I was gonna do a fall card, if it were the fall, I would probably use the cinnamon cider, bring out the cinnamon cider. And that just changes it from kind of a spring card to a fall card. And then I thought, well, what if I add a little flower to it? Wouldn't that be stunning? And that is from the Color and Contour uh, stamp set that I demonstrated last week. Uh, this is the flower that I've stamped. It has a two stamp image. I can stamp the outline, and then I use the stamp to color that in so it's quick, and I cut it out with a die. And then I'm thinking, hmm, well, it needs a little more. So what about some pool party ribbon? What about that? So I just kind of play with um, these backgrounds and things and um, see what kind of look that I get with each one. Then when you change it over to here, to the pool party, you get a totally different look, a little lighter, a little more summery springtime look. So then I would, like I say, I would probably just um, add some ribbon to this, a little bow, and then I'd probably maybe put an oval oval punch greeting here or maybe a little square greeting right here just trying to give you a few ideas of ways to use these masks well I hope you've enjoyed this video remember that you'll get a chance to win one of uh, this card these cards when you share this video leave a comment below to let me know you have shared and maybe I'll be sending this card to you in the mail the products I've used are available from my online store unless they're in the clearance or retiring sale, and those are only available while supplies last. All you have to do is click on the Shop Now link above, and if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I'd love to be yours. Thank you for joining me for Coffee and a Card today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to ink it up and send a blessing to someone today. Bye!